All right, let's explore the thinking of Jacques Fresco and the society he'd like to see. The reason we emphasize machines and technology is to free man to pursue the higher things. Machines ought to do the filthy, repetitious, or the boring jobs. It would take 10 years to change the surface of the earth. To save our environment, our stupidity, our conflict, we've got to reorganize our way of thinking and reconsider our social... And we, em and we emphasize machines and technology is to free man to go to art centers, music centers, cultural centers, and to find the meaning of their own existence and life. The problem, though, is a political structure is how do you start changing a society this much which has really no political system? No, it has no political system. It is not affiliated with any political party. It is neither communist, fascist, nor socialist, nor democratic. socio cybernering is a sort of a quantum jump, a, a severe departure in man's way of thinking. I believe that people should not be divided uh, the, the youngsters, the adolescents, and finally the, the mature young adults, and then the older folks are all divided people. When you get to be 65, you don't want to travel on an ocean liner with old folks. How come we put up these buildings for the old folks? We think that people ought to live wherever the hell they want to live. That cities must be designed so we have an integrated, intelligent society. What jobs uh, that we now know will not be present in this concept? Like most. garbage men gone, right? Yes. All repetition. All mail people working in fact. Know. No mailmen, no waitresses, no waiters, no cooks. Uh, there'll when be you no go jobs. Out to eat, how will you get your food? Well, there are beautifully designed uh, uh, areas for eating in which you have all kinds of food. Japanese, French food, organic food, and the standards if you like it. And how would it get to you? The way the food gets to you. What we do is monitor the behavior of the cook. That is, we do a multi-channel tape on the best cooks that we know of. You're and as they prepare their time. food, as they prepare their food, we tape every move they make and how they handle the food and how they dice the carrots the way you like it. Then you dial 2736 and you get the kind of food you want, Chef Milani style or individualized. It's you can even tape your own cooking. I remember five years ago I used to laugh at you, and now all this is very believable. Uh, right. We have the energy, the know-how, the raw materials. socio cybernering is an organization that is probably the boldest organization ever conceived of. What? And we're undertaking the most ambitious project in the history of mankind. This is part of the linear acceleration train that can take you anywhere in the world in just a few hours, safely, without snow, rain, being lost at sea, are all these things the weather. You, are all these things you're saying, Jacques? Uh, could they be built with what we know today, or are some of these things, are you guessing, based on what we know today? No. All of these things can be built with what we know today. It would take ten years to change the surface of the earth, to rebuild the world into a second Garden of Eden. The choice lies with you. The stupidity of a nuclear arms race, the development of weapons, trying to solve your po problems politically by electing this political party or that political party, that all politics is immersed in corruption. Let me say it again. Communism, socialism, fascism, the Democrats, the liberals, we want to absorb human beings. It will be so hard to change, you know, How a lot of these things sound fascinating, but... You, to, in order to accomplish any of this, you, you require, to me, a change of the human. The human value system. Yeah. Cities have been designed a long time ago. The area like Miami, downtown Miami, they put in a couple of pots and a couple of trees, and this kind of simulating a, an intelligent approach to an environment which costs thousands of dollars, and these little intrusions on Flagler Street only cause the buses and the fire engines and the emergency vehicles to become further tied up. There are no solutions. There are clumsy, academic approaches by people immersed in this kind of society coming up with their cop-out solutions that have no relationship to the problems. You cannot be a conventional architect a conventional engineer, work for the telephone company or any other of the old establishment and come up with an idea that is a radical innovation. The space program takes new thinking to save our country, to save our land, to save our environment, to save our youth, our stupidity, our conflict. We've got to reorganize our way of thinking and reconsider our social aims toward uh, the brotherhood of man. We do that or we perish.